Hello and welcome to Marketing91.com. Liquidity preference is the desire of people to hold money owing to various motives. As discussed in the earlier video, money may be held for the following three motives. Transactionary motive, precautionary motive and speculative motive. Let's understand determination of rate of interest. Interest is the price paid for parting with liquidity. Interest is determined by money supply and demand. The demand for money, which is liquidity preference, and the supply of money are denoted by MD and MS respectively. The process of determination of interest rate by money supply and demand can be explained as with supply of money on x-axis and rate of interest on y-axis. Curve MD slopes downwards and becomes horizontal from point T, implying that demand for money is perfectly elastic. Up to point T, the relationship between the demand for money and the interest rate is inverse. The straight horizontal line from T is termed as liquidity trap, because at such a low rate, people prefer to hold money in the form of cash instead of bonds because of the fear of an imminent decline in bond prices. The figure shows that the equilibrium rate of interest is determined at the intersection point E of the money supply and demand curves. For example, consumers choose to save their money in the form of bank deposits rather than purchase debt securities owing to concerns that a subsequent rise in the interest rate will reduce the market value of their investment. Further, Companies do not engage in borrowing or investment for expansion, which implied that banks are unable to sell loans, even at low interest rates. The actual liquidity trap manifests when economic stagnation resulting from the above-mentioned situation cannot be solved by the central bank's RBI's monetary policy. The recession experienced by the Japanese economy since the 1990s has been characterized by a liquidity trap. Changes in interest rate may occur owing to the following factors. Change in demand for money and change in supply of money. Now let's understand the impact of change in demand for money on rate of interest. Demand for money due to the transaction's motive or M1 may increase when income Y increases. A change in the demand for money due to speculative reasons may also occur if prices of bonds or securities rise and people expect them to increase further. A number of factors, both economic and non-economic, may result in a shift in the liquidity preference curve. An increase in the demand for money either due to M1 or M2 or both would shift the MD curve upwards leading to an increase in the interest rate. The change in interest rate owing to a change in the demand for money can be diagrammatically explained as Let the X and Y axis determine the supply of money and rate of interest respectively. The initial rate of interest, OR, is determined by the intersection of MD and MS. An increase in the demand for money shifts the MD curve upwards. The money demand curve is now MD1 as shown in the graph. The new point of intersection of the money supply and demand curves is E1 with an increased rate of interest R1. The interest rate can thus be determined from money supply and demand. Money supply is determined by monetary authorities. If more money is put into circulation by them at a given level of demand for money, the interest rate will decline. Interest rate changes occur due to changes in money supply. Here, x-axis is for supply of money and y-axis is for the rate of interest. When the initial money supply, OQ, intersecting the demand curve at E, the interest rate is R. If the money supply increases to OQ1, the new money supply line is MS1, intersects with the MD curve at E1, which represents the new rate of interest, R1. If the money supply line is shifted to the left of the MS line, the line of interest will be above OR. Criticisms of the Keynesian theory of interest are Real factors such as savings and investment are ignored. Liquidity without savings is not possible. It is an indeterminate theory. The demand for investment or savings is neglected. It is restricted to a short period of time and it does not explain the existence of different interest rates. 
Thank you.